What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what functions are and what the vertical line test is. And to better explain these concepts, I carried over from the previous video, the two examples where we modeled the uh, mark someone gets versus the hours they study and the height someone is versus their age. So if you didn't watch that previous video on relations, domain and range, make sure you do because I better explain those examples in that video. So notice for those two examples, I drew out the mapping diagram for both and the graph for both. So I'm gonna use both of these ways to represent a relation to better explain these concepts, functions and a vertical line test. So to start off, what is a function? Well, in the previous video, we talked about a relation how it's just a set of x values and y values that are connecting, corresponding with each other. And basically a relation, you know what? I'm gonna actually erase this line here, give myself some more room. Basically a relation can either be a function or it is not a function. So it's always either one of these two. A relation is either a function or it is not a function. And the definition for each I wrote out here. So for a function, basically a function has one dependent variable for every independent variable. So one y value for every one x value versus something that's not a function, a relation that's not a function, it's gonna have multiple dependent variables for any independent variable. So it could have multiple y values for any x value. So let's try to relate those definitions to these examples, starting with example one. Notice here in example one, every independent variable here has only one dependent variable. Right? You don't see like this two having a value of 55 and 58. It just has a value of 55. So it doesn't have multiple dependent variables for any independent variable, right? Every independent variable has one corresponding dependent variable, which means that it is a function. Example one is a function. What about example two? Well, notice example two, the eight, uh, that independent variable has one dependent variable. The nine has one dependent variable, but the 10 has two dependent variables. It has multiple dependent variables. So just from this 10 here, we know that example two is not a function. Right? Because again, every independent variable for it to be a function, for a relation to be a function, every independent variable can only correspond to one dependent variable. So you can have um, two independent variables correspond to the same dependent variable. So notice that eight and 165, 10 and 165, the eight and the 10 correspond to 165, both of them. So you can have that in a function but you can have an independent variable corresponding to two dependent variables. Hopefully you see the difference between that. So example two is not a function. And then the final way you can test whether a relation is a function or not is with something called the vertical line test. And the vertical line test is basically if a vertical line touches the graph of a relation more than once, then the relation isn't a function. So here's what I mean by that. You take a vertical line and you run it through the graph. So if we run it through this graph, notice that this vertical line is not touching this relation twice at any point, right? So that means that each independent variable has only one corresponding dependent variable, as we mentioned up here. So it is a function, it passes the vertical line test. But if we run a vertical line through this relation, notice at this point, at 10, two points are touching the vertical line. You can't have two points touching the vertical line, right? If there are more than uh, one point 
touching the vertical line on the graph of a relation, then you know it is not a function because that dependent variable has multiple dependent variables, as we mentioned up here. So that's how you can see it visually. That's the test. That's the vertical line test. If it touches two points, then it fails the vertical line test and it is not a function.